Alrighty, what is up everybody? This is uh, Spectrum Reviews back here with a brand new video review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Spider-Man Homecoming Homemade Suit Spider-Man from Marvel Legends. As you can see, he's on a um, uh, Figma stand right now, looking pretty cool. And unfortunately, we don't have any packaging for this guy because um, we obtained him um, in a uh, natural, um, like, in a, of... We didn't obtain him, obtain him with the package, that's all I'm saying. Anyway... So he comes with uh, three additional accessories other than his uh, base model. So we'll take a closer look at those and then we'll take a closer look at Spider-Man. Alrighty, so he comes with um, two additional fists. Very nicely sculpted and nicely painted. Uh, focus, come on. There we go. You see that very nicely. And he comes with an additional Thor hand as well. Very nicely painted and sculpted. And the last accessory he comes with is the um, hoodie for his, uh, or yeah, the hood for his uh, red hoodie. Which, a lot of people don't like the way this looks on the guy, but I personally do. And um, I'll be right back showing off how that looks on Spider-Man. Alright, so in order to put him on the, or uh, put this on Spider-Man, you first want to remove the head, like so. Then you want to place it inside of this hoodie, like that. And now, you want to just um, pop it right onto the body. A little bit of push, you should get it on there. Ah, come on, Spidey, work with me here. There we go. And, voila, you have him with this hood on. I think it looks very nice, personally. Fits the body very well. Not very much cabbage going on here, either. So, let's go over the articulation of the guy. First off, his head can look almost all the way up. Well, the hood is on, so it does limit it just a tad bit. So it can go 360. It can look down, and it can uh, get a little bit of head wobblage as well. Um, <clears throat> shoulders can go 360. They can go out that far. Um, biceps swivel. Double jointed elbows. Wrist rotation. Wrist is hand, wrist hands up and down. Ab crunch, forward and back, one click. Waist rotation. <clears throat> Legs can kick out that far, and kick back that far. That cut. Double jointed knees. Calf rotation. Angles can go uh, down that far, up that far, and he has ankle pivot as well. So as comparison times are, here we, here we have the um, brand new homemade suit Spider-Man next to Spider-Man 3's uh, Marvel Legends, Legends Venom, Mattel Series 1 Spartan Lock, and Mattel Series 1 Master Chief. And just a quick uh, rundown of that scaling right there. As you can see, he scales very nicely with all these figures. Alright, now that we've gotten those guys out of the way, these are my final thoughts and discussions on this guy. This guy is definitely worth picking up. Um... And I've seen no bad review about him so far, and that, I like that, because this guy deserves every bit of good review that he can get. The sculpting is great, you know, all the wrinkles and stuff. The color is great. The articulation is great. The figure in general is great. It looks just like Tom Holland. And I plan to see the movie as soon as I can. This has been Spectrum Reviews. Thank you so much for watching, and please like, subscribe for more. Peace.